Excuse me, Doctor, but I believe I have an appointment with you. Yes, that's right, young lady, yes. You are the psychiatrist, aren't you? Yes, I am the psychiatrist. Oh, good. Well, Doctor, you've no idea of the mental anxiety I suffer. Well, I'm, I'm sure I can help you, but, you know, you'll have to bear your innermost. Pardon? I said you'll have to bear your innermost. Oh, you are awful, but I like you. <laughs> I mean you'll have to be perfectly frank. Oh, I will, I will. Somehow, I don't know why, but I, I feel perfectly safe with you. Good. You see, it's a strange fascination I have for men. I... I'm really a straightforward, forthright, simple girl, but I... I no, no, ju no I, just, just, yes. just a moment. Mm. Now, before you continue, I want yes. you to relax and uh, just lie down on this couch. Pardon? I said, just lie down on this couch. Oh, you are awful. But I like you. <laughs> there you are now. Is that better? Yes, I feel better now. Good. Now, tell me all about it. Of course I will. I want to. It all began when I met little Willie. I was nine years old. My mother caught me acting very silly. And little Willie caught a cold. So I took Willie by the hand as we frolicked in the sand and led him to a sheltered place. He was shaking, he was shivering, he was quaking, he was quivering as I looked into his little face. It was then and there I knew I had to help him. And it's been the same since then. If someone is in need, he can call on me indeed Cause I love helping men I see. Your, your mother disliked your association with Willie. Now, was there anything strange about him? Pardon? Or was there anything strange about little Willie? Oh, no, not really. He wasn't very big, but then he wasn't very old. Mm -hmm. um, what did you talk about? I mean, did he say much? No, he didn't say much. But then he didn't know much. Ah, so Willie was quiet? Not all the time. Sometimes he'd stand up and shout at the top of his lungs. Oh, what would he shout? Help. Perhaps I was holding him too tight. Perhaps, yes. Mm. Tell me, yes. when next did you discover this compelling desire to be with men? When I was 16. I had just won a beauty contest, which was part of a celebration when they completed a new public convenience in my hometown. Really? Yes, I was crowned Miss Public Convenience of 1969. That's quite an honour. Mm. And when the building was finished, did you lay the cornerstone? Pardon? I said, did you lay the cornerstone? Oh, you are awful, but I like you. Thank you. But you were telling me uh, when you next became attracted to men. Oh, so I was. Well... I met a boy who called himself Bill Thomas. He wasn't very old. Inside his flat, he made a solemn promise. He told me he would not be bold. Then he offered me some wine. All oh, the bubbles were divine as they happily went up my nose. He was shaking, he was shivering, he was quaking, he was quivering as he hurriedly took off my clothes. It was there and then I knew I had to help him been the same since then. If someone is in need, he can call on me indeed, cause I love helping men. Now, now, now let me get this straight. Yes. I mean, what you're saying is that whenever you feel a mm -hmm. man's in, in need, you mm. just have to help him. Oh, yes, I do. How are you feeling, Doctor? Now, you know, I, I, I'm very glad you asked that question. Really? I, I've spent my life listening to the problems of others, and, mm -hmm. and now you, yes. dear sweet lady, yes. you have asked to hear mine. Uh, I, I'm overcome. May I, uh, may I share that couch with you? Oh, of course you can, you poor man. And shall I, shall I tell you everything, or, as they say, shall I let it all hang out? Pardon? I said, shall I let it all hang out? Oh, you are awful. But I like you.